Hello my loves, how are we all? We're starting this vlog with a little haul. I will actually show my face to the camera soon but I'm looking a wee bit worse for wear today. But I wanted to quickly jump on and show you these bits that I got from Primark because I will fill you in properly soon but basically my camera broke, I've had to get a new one. So I haven't been able to vlog for the last couple of weeks which has been quite annoying. And I went to Primark last week, I did film in store so I'll insert those clips now. So you'll have seen all the little bits that I've seen in store and this is what I picked up. So yeah, I thought I would give you a quick little haul of what I got. First up, these gorgeous earrings. I mean, I am all about sparkle and diamonds at this time of year. And I've got a couple festive nights coming up that I feel like these are going to be perfect for. So glad my new camera has now arrived and I'm able to show you this because it now means that I can actually start using it. I really wanted the mug, but they don't sell this mug on its own, unfortunately. So I ended up getting the whole shebang here, the hot chocolate mix and the mug. It's a gorgeous little present for somebody. I feel like Primark are really quite good at doing all the little kind of stocking stuffers or if you're doing Secret Santa I feel like they always have good little gifts that kind of would suit everyone. Then a few weeks back I got a green kind of countdown to Christmas candle that looked like this and if you watched that vlog you'll remember me saying that I was looking for a white one to sit next to it so I had to get this when I seen it. This was only £2.50 and I'm doing the rest of my kind of Christmas styling throughout the house. Next up my favourite thing that Primark do right now I have been buying these for quite a few months now. I actually think I did get some last year as well. If you ever see me with chunky socks on with my Uggs, it is these ones right here. They are super soft and nice and neutral. They're also really nice and thick. Like, I just love wearing them. So I got two packs because sometimes it's hard to find these. So you've got this colour here and then a nice cream tone there. Next up is this gorgeous skirt. So like I said, I've got a couple festive things coming up. We're doing like a day through in Edinburgh and I want to wear like this skirt with a long black coat, maybe some over the knee boots. How gorgeous is this? It's super Christmassy and it was only £13. They are doing the trusty ribbed really nice and seamless stretchy underwear in red for Christmas so of course I had to get a set because I think I've got every other colour at this point so I got a red set then on to my favourite purchase of all I mean how gorgeous would these be for Christmas Eve I've actually ordered another pair of jammies for Christmas Eve I'm definitely still going to wear these I'm thinking I might even wear these on New Year's Eve depending on what we get up to if we're just having a wee cosy night and I feel like these are super festive and really expensive looking so I already have these in the kind of champagne colour and then the chocolate brown I have them in black and now I've got the red I mean how how gorgeous and again super affordable they do have kind of like candy stripe ones and they have some like kind of pink and red jammies they have so many nice bits and obviously Primark is super affordable so if you're looking for your Christmas Eve jammies or Christmas Day jammies then have a wee look because I feel like these would be perfect the only reason I'm not wearing these ones is because I have bought like neutral ones just to match my house a bit better but I'm thinking maybe I will wear these on like Christmas morning can't decide we also had a lovely little festive day through in Edinburgh the other day and obviously I didn't have my camera by then so I didn't record anything which is quite annoying because it was honestly so Christmassy and definitely got me in the festive spirit but I treated myself to some bits from Harrod Beauty so I thought I would show you what I got so I'm not even going to try to pronounce this brand because I will definitely butcher it but it's the same brand that does all the kind of Brazilian bum bum creams and I have seen so many people raving about this on TikTok and when I was in the other day I just happened to see it and I thought you know what, I'm going to pick it up because I actually was looking for a new perfume the other day I feel like do you ever get that way where you just want a new scent I was actually on the hunt for a new perfume the other day still can't find one that I have completely fallen in love with yet I don't know what it is about my perfumes just now but I just feel like I'm needing something new so I thought I would get this because I like to wear just body sprays during the day rather than wear my super fancy perfume it's pistachio and salted caramel scented and it smells incredible if you haven't smelled this already definitely do and if you're looking for a little stocking stuffer then I highly recommend in picking one of these up and next up I have wanted to try this for ages so I decided to give myself a little early Christmas treat it is the body cleanser by Way. I mean how aesthetic is that bottle Chris has already been warned that when I put this in the shower he is not to touch it um, as it is a little treat to myself but it smells incredible and it's just a bit more luxe isn't it okay that's it I'm gonna go now and get on with my cleaning start maybe put my decorations out and then we can catch up then. so we're trying to try on the outfit for the Club London Christmas party I have on next week and someday wants to sit in the box. I don't think we've introduced you yet, have we? This gorgeous crazy little pup. 
is Chester and we're all just so obsessed with. This is my brother's and Fiona's new pup. And how many weeks have I had on there? Three weeks? No, two. Two weeks? Two weeks today. <gasps> it's only two weeks of loving you. I was just grabbing some bits out of a bag and the wee nosy pup that he is came over and I've ended up giving him his Christmas present early. Are you crazy? You say hello. Yeah, be prepared for lots of Chester spam from now on. Hello my loves, welcome back to another YouTube video. I have been vlogging the last couple of days but I haven't actually spoke to the camera and today is our one year anniversary of being engaged but actually four years since we went on our first ever date. Uh, we went to the Christmas markets which was like so cute and this is my favourite time of year so the fact that like our anniversary falls is just um, yeah, it's pretty perfect. So we are going out for a nice little anniversary dinner tonight. As you can see I'm all glam for a change, done all my hair, I'm actually really chuffed with how my hair turned out so I might try and film either a wee TikTok, a reel, or we are actually doing quite a lot of wee bits and bobs over the festive period so I might actually do a wee tutorial in a vlog soon actually. If you're interested in seeing that then let me know and let me know where you would rather I posted that. Absolutely loving my red nails by the way, feeling like, I don't think I've ever actually had this shade of red, I'll always usually get like a deeper red and I feel like this is so perfect for Christmas. But if you're thinking about what kind of nails to get for Christmas, I definitely recommend a Santa red. We also conveniently match my lovely roses that Chris bought me in for our little anniversary. Yeah I'm ready to go, I'm wearing just a plain white satin shirt, I've had this for ages, I've actually got a black one that's the exact same, it comes in a little set from on Boohoo. Don't even know if that'll be online anymore, but if it is, I will link it. And then my trusty blazer, which is actually from Misguided. Obviously, Misguided isn't a thing anymore, so that's not helpful, but I'm going to try and give you a little look in the mirror at my outfit. So here is the outfit here. Just the blazer, white satin shirt. I've got big sparkly hoops in because obviously it is Christmas time. And then just my little bag and some over the knee boots. And now that's me ready to go for dinner. mind me looking like a little robber with my beanie on. I'm just back in from a lovely walk with my friend. Had such a busy afternoon just running about doing some little errands for obviously Christmas and I had to go and see my accountant. So yeah, lots of running about this afternoon. And then I went and popped to see my friend and we had a lovely walk, but oh my goodness, it's freezing out. I don't even know if you can actually see, but my cheeks were so rosy when I got back in the car. But before we went our walk, I popped into Home Bargains um, and I thought I would just give you a wee haul of some of the bits that I picked up. So first things first, I got some festive scouters. These were only 99p and to be honest, just because they are shaped like Christmas trees, I couldn't resist. Was looking for some new little flannels just for taking my makeup off. These work really well with the Elemis Cleansing Balm. I do already have a lot of flannels, but you can never have too many. So I got them. Got some cute little gimmicky bits for hot chocolate. So this is a white chocolate snowman. It was cheap and cheerful and it's filled with chocolate chips and marshmallows. So I'll be having that before Christmas. Then I got these, which are little mug huggers. I mean, I've just never seen anything in the shops like this before. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the UK this year has like definitely upped its game. I just feel like they really have like, America's always had like all of the cool bits. Like don't get me wrong, their Christmas Starbucks drinks blow all of ours out the water. I mean, there's ones that have like sugar cookie foam or stuff like that. I watch it all on TikTok and I feel like we've been done dirty with our Starbucks. But in saying that, I feel like places like B&M and Home Bargains are really coming through with a lot of the cute little festive bits. So these were really cheap as well. Um, and I just think they'll be quite cute to pop on my coffees or maybe my hot chocolates on the lead up to Christmas. Then I got the cutest little candy cane dog toy for little Chester because I am obsessed. I got to go and see him this afternoon and honestly, he's just a wee bundle of joy. Like, he just makes us all so happy. I absolutely love him. So I've actually got like a full bag of toys to give him on Christmas. I feel like he's going to get more presents this year than anybody else. And I do already have quite a few bits for him, but I seen this and thought that's just so cute. So he's getting this for Christmas as well. Okay, if you haven't tried these in your washing, then you must. My washing is on the winter right behind me just now. And as soon as I walked into the kitchen, all I can smell is these. They just smell so fresh, so clean. Oh, honestly, they just smell so nice. So the scent is almond milk and manuka honey. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I got two of them because I was starting to run out. So I'm going to refill my container in a minute. So 
you see that. Then because I love that scent so much, I decided to get the pods and try them out. I don't usually use pods. Well, sometimes I use pods. I bought pods quite a while ago and I was needing to like use them up. But to be honest, they weren't overly scented and I don't, like I wouldn't have rushed out and bought them again. However, these are supposed to be really nice and I feel like because they do match the same scent as those scent boosters that this is going to be a really gorgeous combo. So I'll report back on whether I like these or not. But something I can definitely put you on to is this Febreze. So this is the cosy Christmas scent. I ran out to buy this as soon as I seen that it was out. It's limited edition. And honestly, it doesn't smell like a spray for your house. It smells like a fragrance. It smells really expensive, but very cosy, very Christmassy, like it says on the tin. I was actually standing in the aisle picking up another one and a lady came over and I could tell she was like, I'm an iron. She picked one up and it was as if she wasn't sure. And I was like, get it. This is my second one. Um, I've not actually fully went through the first one, but I just, because it's limited edition, I just thought, go and get another one because... When they're gone, they're gone. So yeah, if you haven't tried this yet, definitely recommend. Picked one of these up because my mum actually got us the Christmas scent fairy liquid last year and we've only now just run out. Now bear in mind we've been in our house a year now, but because we use a dishwasher, we don't really use dish soap. So I thought I would run out and buy another limited edition Christmas scent. I just love Christmas scent to cleaning products. Like, I don't know, I just feel like they make your house smell like just so homey and I'm here for it. So got this one. Another boring one, but I had to get some of this for Chris's shirt. So you like the Christmas scent. Again, a limited edition. In limited edition, I jump on. Um, but these are just disinfecting wipes and they're in the scent Winter Berries. Never actually smelled this before, but feel like just a combination of this. I've also got this Flora um, kitchen spray, like the surface spray, and it smells incredible. So I'm going to be doing a big clean on tomorrow, potentially tomorrow and then probably Friday um so yeah I can't wait to like put all these to good use. The other bits in there are also Christmas gifts but this is a little Christmas gift to myself because we all know that I love a glass container. I actually need to grab a new one because obviously I've went and got those fairy pods so I'm going to like sort all that out just now. So that's my job just now I'm going to go and sort all of these bits out but yeah I thought I would just jump on rather than putting this bag to the side and I'll do it tomorrow. I thought just jump on even though you're just out from your walk and I look like I've been dragged through a hedge. Um, but yeah, gonna go and put this stuff away and then make some dinner and I'll probably chat to you again tomorrow. set up you're currently sitting on well it's a chest of drawers that I got from Ikea that I basically get ready at because when I moved into this house I was like do I want a set little desk to get ready or do I need more storage and storage basically ones so yeah I do actually get ready here all through the summer I actually I've got like a wee window up here and I used my mirror and would actually just stand here and get ready because the lighting coming in this room is so so good but obviously it's dark. I mean, it's 20 to 5 right now and it's pitch black outside. So I actually bought this new mini ring light thing from b &M the other day. I've been looking for one. Obviously, I've got a big ring light, but it's a bit of a faff to bring out. So this new one just like clips onto things. So I've been getting ready here and I thought what I would do is kind of talk you through my makeup because I'm going to the Club London Christmas dinner tonight. Really excited actually because I have not been to an event in so long. Like, I feel like this year I've just basically said no to a lot of events. I don't know. I feel like I've become a wee bit of a homebird in my old age and yeah, my confidence isn't there with going to things as much. But I absolutely love Club London. I love all of the outfits that they do. Um, it's gorgeous like occasion wear. So if you're ever looking for a really nice dress for like a baby shower or like the races or it's your birthday or like New Year's for instance, that would probably be the best example to use. Um, New Year's coming up. They have so many gorgeous bits on there. They do really nice suits. I'm actually wearing a kind of sparkly suit tonight. It's like a crop blazer and trousers. Very me but quite festive. I'm excited to go. I'm pushing myself out to my comfort zone tonight and I'm going to the dinner. It's in Ghost in town which is a new restaurant that I've actually been looking to try. I'm saying Ghost. I mean it could be Ghost but it's G-O-S-T. I've been working about all day and that is me now just sitting down to get ready. I'm actually meeting Siobhan. Me and her are going to go for a wee drink just to cut and bottle and then we're going to get a taxi in together. Well I want to be ready in 40 minutes. Um, it's 20 to 5 just now and my taxi is coming at half five so I better get this show on the road. I've just poured myself a little blush. This is from Aldi. I'll insert wee clips of it um, because I can't remember the exact name, but honestly, such a nice blush. The only thing is, I haven't had any of it yet, but 
as I start to sip this, my face is going to start going red. I don't know. There's something obviously in this that I can drink it when I have makeup on because you can't see. But if I've got like no makeup on um, and I have a sip of this, my face is going to start reacting. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to start doing my makeup and I'll probably just pop you on a time lapse and I'll link any products that I'm absolutely loving below so you can shop them um, if you're interested. But yeah, let's quickly get ready and I'll chat to you as once I'm ready. Cheers. And that is me all ready to go. I didn't film all of my makeup there because I started to get in a bit of a rush. And also, like I said, this is the first time I've actually been out in ages. And my eyelashes just decided to play me. I mean, I thought that was something that happened to you when you were 17. I thought I'd enough practice at this point, but no. So if my eyelashes are looking a little bit funky, it's because it took me about half an hour to put them on. Um, I'm going to need to go and top my lipstick up and lock up the house. So yeah, I'm going to head and do all of that now. My taxi should be pulling up. Ah uh, yeah, we're ready to go. I just have to show you the cute little crumpets I picked up in m and area. You'll probably have seen them because I did take a wee video of them as I was walking around. But last year they did like tree crumpets. If, you want, if you've like been watching my video since then, um, since like last Christmas, I went on, was it Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve? Um, to try and get the tree crumpet shapes for our little Christmas breakfast because I had my brother and Fiona over for, for Christmas breakfast last year and I went all the way to m and and didn't have them but this year we're doing snowmen and honestly they're so cute honestly how cute are they like I was talking to the girl at the till and she was like saying how I know it's just like a shape basically but it just makes it that much nicer. So I've went and got them. I've got us some croissants, as if I'm back in Paris. Some scones, clotted cream and jam. So I think I'm going to just put these on a wee latter. I also got some fresh orange just in milk. The main reason I was going was to see if I could get, well I thought there were going to be trees again, but they're snowmen, they're so much cuter. So I'm going to go and put these on my wee sleigh. I'll actually show you my sleigh. Actually I'll set it all up and then I'll show you, okay? And here is the little setup. So this little sleigh is one that I got from B&M last year. They do actually have it again in stock, but it's not black. It's a red sleigh. Um, and basically I got my dad to spray paint it for me. As you can see, it's Kind of chipped a wee bit so I probably should fix that but I mean how cute does that look? These little nibble bowls I have used them so much I got them from Primark and um, I also have them in like cream as well but obviously the black matches with the little sleigh so for my scones, my jam, my butter, my clotted cream, can't forget the clotted cream I've done them little croissants and these plates are from Matalan. If you've watched a lot of my previous videos um, over the last couple of months, you'll have seen these in a haul. These are also the little Matalan coasters and these um, table mats are from Primark in case anyone's interested. Got the gorgeous Aldi candle burning and ready. I might actually go and put something festive on the TV, like maybe the Grinch in the background. So I put my garland up quite a few weeks ago and I've just put lights on it and uh, first I decided I didn't want to put anything else on it um, but now that it's getting closer to Christmas I think, do you know what, let's put add some bows and maybe some of the little bells that I got from the white company. So yeah, that is a plan just now so I'm going to pop you on a time lapse while I do that. These bows are from Marshalls I believe which you can see dollars. So yeah, I didn't get these in the UK unfortunately, but I'm sure you could find something similar maybe in Tiki Max. 